Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to talk about RIP. This is the Router Information Protocol. An older protocol that's probably not used uh, too much anymore, but uh, you might still see it on a CCNA Cisco test or maybe a Network Plus test, so we need to cover it. Uh, RIP. Router Information Protocol. Again, it's an application layer protocol uh, used to route data packets by finding the best hop count. A uh, fairly crude uh, way of trying to determine the best path. Most of the newer, uh, newer protocols today uh, also look for the time it takes for data packets to get uh, to the destination. Some routers might become a little congested, so even the, using the hop count sometimes might not be the best, uh, best method. Uh, here's a little diagram uh, of uh, a home user having their home router uh, trying to reach apple.com. Now this router right here that you might find at an ISP uh, will have maybe more than one path in order to reach uh, Apple. It could have uh, maybe three paths. And within these paths, uh, using RIP, it would actually count the number of devices that it's going to need to go through in order to reach Apple. If you notice this route here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five devices to reach Apple. Uh, the center one, one, two, three, and then the one here on the left, one, two, three, four. So the shortest and uh, path or the fewest devices is going to be the one here in the middle with only three devices. So your hop count would be one, two, three, four. And that's the route that the RIP would, would choose using this router. Uh, I've got another uh, table here of information. I ran Tracert uh, to reach Apple. And Tracert does give you uh, the hops or the devices and it shows you the time it takes to get through each device and it also gives you the name of that device. You can see here for the first hop uh, was my wireless broadband router. Uh, the second uh, was this uh, device here and then this one here. These are in Los Angeles so we're going through Verizon first and then we're moving through some devices in Los Angeles and then moving to the San Jose area and eventually we get to Apple. So it looks like there was uh, 12 hops or 12 devices that it took in order to, from the data packets going from my home uh, to Apple. So this kind of gives you an idea of what hops are. Uh, they're nothing more than just devices uh, or routers that data packets have to move through in order to get to their destination. Again, if, on this diagram here, all of these routers would be considered part of the cloud. Now within the cloud, or within the internet, you have thousands, millions uh, of these devices. So these routers are always looking for the best path to move data. Uh, the internet's very dynamic, and these routers are very good in determining uh, the best and most efficient path to use to move the data. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, works very well. Uh, in summary, uh, RIP, Router Information Protocol, it's an older protocol using the hop count. Uh, not the most efficient today because in some of these uh, routers uh, you might have a lot of congestion and that congestion might slow router down. So even though maybe this is, looks like the better path because there's only three hops, uh, if one of these routers got too congested things could actually slow down or bog down. And this route over here might be uh, faster even though there's more devices. So RIP uh, is the older protocol but maybe uh, not the best one. And consequently uh, there are several others that have uh, come about that have replaced it. But again you might see it on a test uh, so that's why we've covered it. We'll cover some more. Uh, thanks for watching.